This is Embryd. Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Today is my um, episode where I do some really overclock related, overclock related stuff here. Um, yesterday and the day before I was doing dry ice benching with my 3060 Ti and now I want to show you my journey, what I did, what I had to do and how it went out. First of all, I want to introduce my 3060 Ti. Um, I did a couple of mods which you can find on the internet. Maybe I will put a link in the description, but the problem is it's German, so I think you are better off if I explain it. The first thing, thing I did was to um, detach the shroud and add uh, fans, but that was only for pre testing for the mods, you know, that I have. Uh, good cooling. Um, I also added liquid metal here, then I added some capacity on the spots here uh, for the memory and that's behind the core. I exchanged two SP caps for eight MLCC caps each, then I put another caps on the card, also on the back side here another ad additional 47 microfarad and also here the input filtering 16 volts 120 microfarad we, uh, yes uh, then we have then i tried to shunt the card didn't work then i added the voltage regulator which resulted in enforced power limit you can see it here that's how i set it up and then also for the memory i added the circuitry to control the voltage and I also added some gorges that I can see uh, which voltage is on the coin on the memory and yeah then I added some additional bunch of capacity that's that's basically it and I want to show you all the things that I did to the 3060 Ti in order to get some cool records with dry eyes of course yeah, and the first thing what was a bit odd or uh, what went wrong is I isolated the card too less. As you can see we have really 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 much ice on the memory and on the card itself so after just a few minutes we needed to redo it and isolate the card more to get rid of the ice and later on of course of the molten ice and then water all over the card. So yeah that was a bit <laughs> that was not that great at all. Yeah, and then after I grabbed some hanky and captain tape, we managed to isolate the card properly. So there was no problem at all with building up frost. And we finally could start the journey of putting the 3060 Ti into really, really good dry ice benchmarking. And the outcome of the first day of dry ice benchmarking mm, was a bit stressy, so I didn't took any video, or really long videos, but we will come to that in a few seconds. The outcome was I got the first place in Unigen Superposition 8K optimized, Fire Strike Extreme and Fire Strike Ultra as well. That, that's pretty neat, that's pretty nice, um, yeah, that's that's what I wanted, but it was not enough, because uh, free world records with that effort, okay guys, you don't know the effort, the effort, um, it was over um, 16 hours of benchmarking, so it was really, really, really quite an effort, but that was not enough, but all in all, after 13 hours, that was the outcome and I need some sleep it was already 3 a.m. so yeah I literally fall into the bed and uh, yeah and yeah that's how the first day of dry ice overclocking went hey guys now is the second day for you it was just a bit of a few seconds for me it's now the second day benchmarking times by maybe you noticed that I have a bit different cooling setup this is because this is uh, 18 core CPU, 
So, yeah, the 10th core CPU is just too little, makes two less points, so I had to swap in the 9980XE. And yeah, like I said, running now times by minus 40, as good as it gets. So need to cool my VRMs with dry ice because they're getting too hot since I only have a six phase VRM. So yeah. Yeah, new try. I had to do really, really, really a lot of rework. I wish I could show you what I've done, but I'm so stressed, you know, I don't want to make a video while I'm that stressed, you know. So, you just see how it looks like from here. Let's put it in uh, dry eyes. That looks awesome, that looks awesome. I just want to mention here that this pod is not really cooled down now. It's just about to test. You know, you don't want to put the pod really to cold temperatures before you didn't do any benchmarks because yeah, when something is really terrible or is crashing, you have a minus 50 degrees Celsius pod that you need to do some rework, you know. So yeah. As for now, as you can see, minus 3 degrees, we will cool that to over minus 40. Uh, looks like everything from now is working fine. Uh, when we go into idle, we already see minus 15, 16, 17. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and as you can see, I made what is so called a full pot. And we are already down to minus 35 degrees, it's still rising and it will stop at minus 40 because we have the sensor limit here. Um, it will probably go way beyond that, um, should be minus 60 if we really want to. That are my voltages as you can see, 1.16 on the core, 122 on the VRAM. And now the benchmark will start and then we will see as you can see, minus, minus 30 degrees Celsius on the load, that's quite awesome. Sadly, this pot is not capable of cooling 300 watts properly. It's not that good pot, it's a bit old and worn out. So it will rise to around minus 10. Yeah, it is like it is. I hope you enjoyed anyway what I'm doing. I, I try to show you as many things as I can. Alright, the benchmark just went through and we got the world record. World record was 1388 and now I have 13917. So times by I got the world record. Now I will let cool the, the card a bit down until it has around 5 degrees on the back side. Ah, uh, now, now, now I got the actual reading. Here's the spot where I'm always looking for. Yeah, 8 degrees. Can start, I can now start the benchmark. Benchmark's running. And as you can see, I always only cooling on the VRM side. This is because I only have a 6 phase and the 6 phase gets really, really hot when I'm pulling 300 watts over a single 8 pin. That's basically not a problem you can pull over four to 600 watts over such a 8-pin if you have a Seasonic PSU, which I indeed have. So graphics tests are done without any problem. Times by extreme, now the CPU test. Stay with me guys, 6732 R2 beat. I hope this was, this was enough. Yeah, yeah, and I would say uh, we literally crushed that com that current world record. Pretty, pretty awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So two world records for the day. That's how it looks like. We'll now do some off-camera testings and such. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Leave down a comment or like, and if you want to subscribe, if you have any further questions, uh, leave it also in the comments. I will. Awesome.
answer them. Uh, maybe you have any suggestions or something like that, which I could do in the next dry ice video. Leave it also in the comments. And I would say, see you in the next one.